Good morning, and by morning I mean almost noon because Oktoberfest got the best of us yesterday slash last night and we are currently walking to go get a rental car because we're going to the countryside today to go to the world's oldest brewery to drink more beer. If you're wondering how much a rental car costs in Munich, we did get one for the day, a lower end car. It costs about 80 euro just for the rental car for 24 hours. And then you have to assume probably filling up the tank depending how far you're going. But to fill up the tank, it probably costs what, like 20 euro? Maybe 30, 20 to 30. Yeah, but it's fairly simple. We did it through Avis and Budget. Kind of the same process that there is in the United States. What's interesting is that I booked a manual car, but she gave me an automatic. The manuals were actually cheaper than the automatics. I asked about the Autobahn. I don't, she didn't tell me anything about going really fast. She did tell me to obey the speed limit, so that's exactly what we're gonna do today. Unfortunately, we'll have to do it in the Autobahn another time. If you haven't caught on now, we typically try to save money when we travel, so we rented this thing that kind of looks like a gray cockroach. It's nice on the inside. What kind of car do you think this is? It could be a Citroen. And we're out. <laughs> I think. I think. Can you pu yeah, push it in. <laughs> okay, uh, 50. beautiful day we just got here no problems at all driving out it took us about maybe an hour and it seems pretty crowded we're here on a Friday at about 1 fun fact this monastery was established in 720 and the brewery was established in 1040 and it's considered the world's oldest continuously operating brewery Apparently they're a little funny, not funny, but they're particular with who and when they give their tours to. So we're just gonna walk around and as Raphael likes to say, give ourselves a self-guided tour of the world's oldest brewery. I think, I don't really know, but that should be the barley or the hops. After it's used and fermented, it's just dumped and then discarded. Pretty cool though, really interesting. Looks like doo-doo. Really looks disgusting, not gonna lie. And it sounds disgusting. Oh, that's just doo-doo, baby. today or maybe it's not closed it's just closed for tours so we picked a kind of bad time to come but nonetheless still an important site because it is the world's oldest brewery and continuously operating brewery as well which makes it pretty cool and I swear the best time to come to Germany is in the fall or autumn it's super pleasant I mean we're wearing pants you could wear a long sleeve. I have my, my shirt cuffed up because it's just, I don't know, maybe like high 60s. The colors are beautiful. There's a lot of, a lot of autumn colors, a lot of oranges, pinks, reds, purples. Trees are starting to change. And it's just the grounds up here are amazing. We're situated on a hill, so you can kind of look off and see 
the Bavarian countryside. And it's just vast, large and in charge. You know? It's that big. We're just talking to our guy right here who says that this is the more common one. It's called a Vetus. It's uh, like a Hefeweizen, but a little bit stronger. Good stuff. Sitting down for a few drinks. Some of the world's oldest beer. This is a more traditional one. It's a Vetus. It's a wheat beer. Ooh, it tastes like metal. Uh oh. <laughs> It's like a typical Hefeweizen, a little bit richer in flavor, creamy head on the top, and I'm a huge fan of Hefeweizen. I always think that it tastes like, has like a hint of banana or clove in it or something like that, but that's just me personally. Good beer. Braxton's with the double Doppelbach. It's a darker beer. And uh, we're hillside with amazing views. Cheers. Yeah. Gross. <laughs> from three to about nine euro. Beer prices are anywhere from about four to 10 euro. And uh, there's also a little gift shop here. So there's lots of different types of souvenirs you can get from here, whether it's a collared shirt, a t-shirt, a hoodie, umbrellas. They also have pretty awesome glassware. And of course you can buy the beer. I'm kind of tempted to buy some of the glassware just because it is the oldest brewery in the world. Uh, there's also little hats. This actually might be someone else's that I'm putting on my head. I don't think they sell this. I think this. No, is they do. There's, they're lined up on the top right there. So they have these. They have these. They have cards. Oh, they have these ones. Oh, a bottle popper. And now we're going to the world's second oldest brewery. If I can get the car up to start. <laughs> Now we are at the world's second oldest brewery in the world. This actually is the oldest monastery uh, in Bavaria. It was founded in 620, so it's older than the previous one. Um, but they didn't start brewing beer until 1050, so 10 years later than the first one we went to. That's the only reason they don't get the official world's oldest brewery title. And we're definitely glad we made an effort to come out here. This is also, this place also doubles as a guest house, so you can technically stay here as well. I'm not sure how many euros it is per night. It's very quaint and charming. It's situated on a peninsula, kind of. There's a river that wraps around it. I don't know the name of the river, but once you walk into this area, it's a courtyard that is extremely quaint and charming. There's a church, the brewery, I didn't think cars could drive through here, but there's a car about to drive through here, but. And there are not a lot of people here. If you want to avoid the crowds and get some extremely scenic and historic notches on your belt, make an effort to come here. It's a little bit out of the way. It's about an hour and 45 to two hours away from Munich, um, but it's certainly worth the effort. So this brewery is known for its Bach style beer, which is a little bit darker tan beer, similar to like a Newcastle, I think and it has hints of like dry fruit in it and it's a little bit more malty. So if you like that style brew, come here. All right guys, cheers to the world's second oldest brewery. Prost. Okay. Do you know how to open the sunroof though? 
No one wears sunroof, maybe, okay? Alright, yeah. <laughs> I, th I think we're done here. <laughs> oh, I think it's this one. <laughs> <laughs>